Hello everybody. I'm doing a video today on how to wire up a Taki Tutor yarder receiver and kind of principle on mounting it in a yarder. And um, I'm going to start off with this book that a good friend of mine gave me some years back. He gave me this book on how to install the Taki Tutor receiver. He gave me this air horn and the Mallory relay and a power inverter. Um, and Finley Hayes helped the guys at Roth and Bueller put this together. And if you're not certain on who he was, uh, the man started Loggers World LLC back in 1964, I believe. And he's since passed. I uh, believe he passed away in late 90s or early 2000s. And I believe this manual was put out in the 60s. That's Finley Hayes right there in his Volkswagen van. And this is a real old um, set of yarder bugs shown here. Or sorry, uh, yarder transmitters and the um, receiver box. And that is a yarder owned by, who is it, Z Brothers of Deming, Washington, sporting a 420 horse cat motor. Z Brothers have been using talkie tutors since 1954. This is Wade McNee using a triple drum cat yarder, apparently. What's neat is he's got a line running from the cat down through this stump over to another stump and then back up to the cat so it doesn't lift off the ground. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it shows how to find a spot to mount the box, how to mount the receiver, and now he's almost done mounting it. Hooking up the receiver to the yarder batteries, mounting the speaker, up the whistle wire. Missing a page here. Let's see. Is this the. I'm trying to do this one handed. Oh, yeah. So here's you know, kind of a basic schematic on how to wire this up. This is for the old school receiver that doesn't have an internal speaker. Um, it's not too much different for this new school style that I have here. Really? And this is how you'd wire it up if you were using just a regular automotive horn. Pretty basic. It's got this neat sketch on the back. Yeah, anyhow. Um, my friends uh, at American Timber Resources, um, Aaron Bowling, gave me this receiver box and the brush transmitter that I'm going to be using today. I don't have it hooked up, but I mean you don't really need it because I'm so close. But you'd hook a regular CB antenna in here and that'll work fine. Um, these days you can buy a pretty serious magnetic mount um, antenna used for these Taki Tutor receivers and transmitters for mounting up on your yarder. And basically how this works is you've got a 12 volt supply that would go to this side of your relay and you've got a 12 volt supply going to the red and black wire on your Taki Tutor receiver box. And out of this Taki Tutor receiver box you've got a, what is it here? a white and a green wire and that goes to the Tudor bug side of your Mallory relay there and then on the other side of your Mallory relay you've got two wires right here that go to your air solenoid that controls your air horn. Pretty simple stuff. and. Uh, 
just as a side note, on this old relay, what used to hook up here would be um, electrical wire, hundreds of feet of it, and it'd be slung over a man's shoulder, and on the other end would be this. And this, um, for lack of a better term, I've been told is called a clapper. And an old boy used to sit up on a stump and punk whistles with this thing. I'm told generally the man would be um, a bit of a senior uh, in that he couldn't quite perform the duties of a young man out in the brush, so that was his job. Tend the fire, sit on a stump and punk whistles. Don't quote me on it, but uh, pretty neat little deal here. It's old growth timber, tight grained wood handles, and I believe this is some type of a tin. I mean, to me it almost seems like um, mild steel, but anyhow, yeah. Pretty cool. And generally this yarder box is mounted just somewhere out of the way. In one of the yarders I ran, it was above me mounted to a plywood board had some rubber mounts on it so that if you ever got into a hard pull and things started to shake around a little bit it wouldn't damage the electronics on the inside <clears throat> um, and I ran one where it was mounted down to the side of my leg uh, to where you couldn't bump it when you got in the cab that kind of a thing so it doesn't really matter where it's at as long as it's accessible um, so what you do here, we're going to turn on 12 volts and this is a dial here that adjusts your volume for the speaker. Unfortunately the speaker doesn't work in this. So for those of you that are new to this, what I'm holding is the Talkie Tutor transmitter and it has a nylon strap that acts as a belt and the brushman wears this on his waist. I prefer to wear it to my left side, but some guys wear it to the right, doesn't really matter. This piece right here is the antenna, and this has a NICAD battery in it with a mercury switch, and there's a microphone at the end. And the way this works is if this is in the down position and you push this in, you can talk in the bottom of it into the microphone and the yarder engineer can hear you over the speaker. Now there is not a speaker in this so that the yarder engineer can talk back. He has to respond to the rigging men with whistles. So for instance, if a man asks a question and the answer is no, then the yarder engineer would give one whistle for yes sir I understood you and then one short whistle for the answer is no. So two shorts. And then if the answer is yes to the question being asked then one short whistle is yes. If the answer is I don't know the yarder engineer would give two medium whistles and that's how that works. Now, when the brushman wants to actually give whistle signals to the yarder engineer, he would lift this up and squeeze it once, and there you go, you got whistles. So again, if I asked a question to the yarder engineer and the answer was yes, that's what it'd sound like. Sorry, <laughs> I messed up. Um, if I asked the yarder engineer a question and the, the answer was yes, it'd be, yeah, it'd be one whistle. If it was no, it'd be... <clears throat> and if the answer was, I don't know, that's what it'd look like. So anyhow, there's a basic introduction to how to wire one of these up. Um, theory on installation and what this transmitter is all about. Hope you enjoy this video. 
I'm going to be making uh, more videos coming up about um, cable logging whistle signals based on the WAC code found online for um, LNI on tension system and high lead slack line skitter system and um, I think it's going to be neat so again stay tuned thank you for watching and have a great day bye now